Hi guys, this came in the post today from GearBest.com. This is the Hobson X4 Desire H502E. Has an inbuilt HD camera, 720p GPS module with telemetry. So it gives you true return to home functions like a brushless quadcopter hobby grade would. It has altitude hold, which has got your barometer in there. Let's see what we've got in the box. So the first part you come to is the blades, propeller blade. That's the only install you have to do on this quadcopter, the blade. So it tells you if they're marked clearly A and B propellers and they're marked on the arms of the quadcopter. As you can see there, you've got a flat edge to the propeller shaft, so they have to go in one direction only down. The rotation's shown on the quadcopter itself anyway, but you've got the clearly marked, like I said, A and B. You've got silver screws for A. Uh, for B, sorry, and black screws for A. This is the actual quadcopter itself. Just the X4 Desire from Hobson. So this is leaps and bounds ahead of any other toy grade quadcopter because, like I've said, you've got your GPS module with telemetry. For those who don't understand what I'm talking about with GPS, it's it's a functionality which some of these will have, which holds it in space and time. It locks it in a firm position. So with your hands off the throttle and pitch and roll, it should stay in one place if it's locked in with the satellites. Telemetry, for people who don't know what telemetry is, it has the capability of sending information from here to the controller. In this case, it's the number of satellites, um, the battery level, so you can actually monitor how many satellites you're actually locked into for this to work properly it's six satellites or above I believe this locks in quite quickly because the module is on top of the actual the upper part shielded quite well yeah so like I said you've got these rubber caps so once you've taken these rubber caps off it's just a case of fitting your propellers you've got your screws so once they're put into place screw them from the top down they've got Loctite on them they should not come loose so if we take a quick look at the quadcopter itself it uses a JST battery you've got your lights front and rear so the rear are red the front are blue um, something I noticed on this one don't know if, it, if you can see that so you've got a micro USB port here, so you can possibly take the cable for firmware upgrades because this can actually use the follow me mode, I believe, using the next models up, um, the one with the screen on, I'm not sure of the model number, but this is actually programmed for follow me mode, it just doesn't work with the controller you get, so that would have been nice to have that still on this model. You've got your 720p camera there. You've got your plastic on there. You've got a tab. You just rip that off. It takes a micro USD card here. It doesn't come with one, but you can get those off eBay. You want to get a class 10 really. So your video comes out smooth. You don't get any dropped frames. But that's the cord itself. It's very light. Very small. It's going to fly like a toy grade. It's going to give you options of you know having that true return to home function, which has got to be a great selling point for anyone wanting to learn quadcopters. Because if you get into a fluster, you're not sure which way around the quadcopter is. And on a normal quadcopter, one key re return and headless only truly work once you're on that set path. Once you off that path, it's not going to work properly. Whereas this. As long as you've got those satellites locked in six or above, if you're going to panic, hit that one key return, this should come in nose in, so it should come back to you and land roughly where it took off. All you have to do then is disarm the motors from idle, really. So let's take a look in the box.
you've got your controller here. This is just telling you about you, that you need the six satellites in order to gain the return to home function and GPS lock. It's very much like the Traxxas Aton controller, or very similar, I should say. Not exactly the same. You've got your on and off button here. The throttle. That's your yaw. Forwards and backwards, right and left. So the trim buttons, you've got one for your yaw, right and left there. But your forwards and backwards trim, right and left trim. These sticks also have functions on pushing in. So the right stick, if you push it in, that's your low and high rate, that's your speeds. The left stick, pushing that in, that's going to give you headless mode. There's your camera button, so one press for taking a picture, long press for video. And as I said, this is your fail safe. Once some satellites are locked in, if you do panic, as long as there's no trees in the way, you know, if you're in an open area, so you hit that button, it will turn those in, come towards you, then land. What you have to do then is disarm motors from idle speed by bringing these sticks down and out like that so the other functions of this controller which are important is we've got your gyro calibration which is for using headless mode and stability of the actual quad so if it's not flying level stable you might want to calibrate the gyros so you put the stick down to the right hand corner and toggle this stick the lights will flash like they usually do on other quadcopters and then stop also you've got your compass calibration for GPS so you hold that down to the left corner toggle it again and the display will show compass calibration on there compass calibration 1 and then you do your normal compass calibration and then you go to two and once it's cleared you're ready to take off what you have to do is arm the motors for idle speed and then up on your stick as long as you've got your satellites locked in if you let go of the sticks that quad will hold its position in space and time until you make movement on the sticks again so yeah I'm just trying to Show you things I've not noticed on other videos. I probably might miss some things, but I'll try and cover what I have noticed. So on the controller, you do have um, you can see that you have jumper pins here. There's four pins. Do you see that yet? You see that there? Four pins there. I'm not sure, quite sure what they're for. Be interesting to find out. But that takes four AAA batteries. So I'll just put those batteries in. There we have it, we've got the controller there. Switch that on, you can see you've got your camera and video buttons here, and you've got your icons to display. Quick press, see the camera icon flashed to let you know it took a picture. Long press. video icon flashes, long press again, it stops. So there's your number of satellites, you've got a satellite icon there, number of satellites. That's the battery level of the quadcopter itself shown there, and that's the battery level of the controller shown there. So yeah, you've got the added function of that telemetry, which is really handy to have on any quadcopter, because you're getting feedback all the time to let you know if you've lost satellites. In the instance you've lost satellites and you know that that return to home function may not work properly. 
so that is a good feature. So yeah, all in all, this quadcopter, it's just um, way ahead of any other toy grade quadcopter you can buy at the moment. I believe Hobson is still the only one selling toy grade quadcopter with brush motors with this functionality of a GPS module and telemetry so for the extra money it is a good buy it's a good buy for anyone if it's worth paying the extra for this one to give you the peace of mind that if you get into trouble with it you've got that true GPS working to give you that return to home function and it will come back land then all you have to do is disarm those motors so for me that's a big plus that's a, you know for anyone see what we have a spare part pack um, put your booklets here disclaimer warning booklet. compass calibration before you fly Hobson X4 booklet you've got your in English always well, good to have a read through of that before you take your first flight. You've got two sets of propellers, they're marked A and B, so you've just got to screw them down, fit them and screw them down in the correct position. You've got a bag of screws, you've actually got four silver screws and four black screws, so you've got spare screws. That's your USB charger for your battery. It just charges using the balance plug and you've got your screwdriver for the propellers so that's what you've got in the box the next video on this will be the flight checking out the GPS return to home function headless mode just seeing generally what it flies like if you do want to buy this you're, you're thinking about buying this for someone in your family for Christmas put a link in the description if you have any questions please comment below if you own this and I've missed anything then you can add that in that'll be helpful and I'll yeah put the blades on it and take it for a flight on another day this is TJRC UK and I'll see you on the next video